Welcome to this ZBrush kit bashing course. So this course is basically to try and speed up and organize your workflow by creating assets inside ZBrush that you can reuse, um, also known as kit bashing. So you can load in a variety of tools and you can reuse those inside of a project. A classic example of this would be something like a screw or bolt head that you might use when you're doing hard surface modeling. So I'm also going to show you in this course um, how you can organize the light box to contain the assets that you create. So for instance, inside of the brush palette inside of Lightbox here, we've got a custom brush folder that we've created and this is the one that we'll be creating for this course. So if I double click on it, you can see these are the brushes that we create during the course. So we've got here a multi insert brush that we're going to create. We've got a curve brush. We've got a standard uh, brick and actually three versions of that as an insert brush. We've got standard brushes that we create, which is a hex brush based off of the multi insert brush. We've got a wrinkle brush where we do a modification to the Damien standard brush. And we've also got a custom welding brush as well. So we're going to cover these. Let me just show you this one, for instance. Um, let me just put this into a color where it's going to show up a little bit better and we've got here too if I press M on the keyboard you can see that we can switch between these two um, head types now you can create as many of these as you like and add them to this so if I click this for instance we've got a nice little head going there we created this inside the program and we've got this as well so you can see that works perfectly there um, that's one of the brushes another brush that we're going to use as well is going to be this pipes brush if I double click to load that up you can see there's two versions of this pipe and this is basically a curved brush so if I put this on here you can see that it will actually create this not only that we can press the M key on the keyboard and we can choose another version of this as well which I can update there so that's two of the main brushes that we're using in this now we've also got the actual brushes here we've got brick we've got a brick brush so we've got three different versions of this this brick and you'll notice that as I drag these out it will ripple through the different ones so I'll be showing you how to do that as well so you could have uh, as many versions that you want as you lay them on the model it would go between them all giving you a bit of variety on the model itself so if we move on now to something like this hex brush that we created here with the custom icon this was based off of this subtool that we created so I wanted to introduce the fact that when you create a tool you could create another custom alpha brush based off of that as well and you can see there I've done it as a kind of drag so you can do a nice little panel with those bolts going through um, we've also got a wrinkle brush and a weld brush as well let me just load the weld brush up for you giving you this kind of weld effect that might be handy for hard surface modeling okay so as well as doing that we're also going to look inside um, we're going to add some textures I'm going to be showing you how to do tileable textures inside of ZBrush as well so if we have a look at some of the tiles that we've created here you can see these are all tileable textures I created in this course during during the course and also a panel that we could use so we can export out a normal panel there that we could use in programs such as substance painter etc so we cover quite a lot in this course plus organizing where the tools are so i'll be showing you how to add everything to the light box and also how to go into um, here and add them directly inside of the brush palette you can see there i've got my pipes brushes in there so they're automatically loaded in so I'll be showing you how to do that as well and where you put those files for organization it is also important to note that I've actually created shortcuts so I keep all my brushes and my alphas and my files texture files in one folder actually on another drive and I just reference that drive whenever I open up ZBrush so it so it stores them in another location this is really handy I don't want to add them into actually ZBrush's folder structure itself because if I upgrade or I um, decide to load it onto a different system then 
um, I'm, I might lose all those brushes and those custom alphas. So I keep them in another place, and that way if I need to move them to another machine or I need to back them up, I've got them all safely away from ZBrush's installation folder. It's important to know. So I hope you enjoy this course. It's, um, it's a good one. Um, so yeah, and it's quite a quick course to do, so you should have fun doing this.